Так, на каком задании мы остановились? Так, поговорить с торговцем в новом... Новой сирене. Так. А вот и первая цель. Поговорить об убийстве торговца. I was told that someone found a merchant's body. Did you know him? Of course. The town isn't that big. We all know each other here. Poor Renault. We found his body on the street by the port. He was beaten to death. One of his associates half-heartedly took over the shop. Have the culprits been found? No. Listen. Nobody wants to talk about this. We don't want any trouble. It's been months since it happened, and investigation's not gonna bring him back. Want armor that fits you like a glove? We'll make it for you. Oh, it's a great... The best fort! Oh, it's a great... I'm currently investigating an extortion case involving the guard. Are you one of the merchants who has been threatened? Uh, no, not at all. And I've never heard of this business. Someone must have lied to you. Really? Come on. If you want these guards to be arrested, you need to talk to me. I mean no offense, but you won't be able to do anything. And snitching don't end well. I want to hold on to my business. And my life. How about some new armor, Your Excellency? You are obviously a victim of these bandits. One of your people is dead. Yet you refuse to help me. Why? It's precisely because one of our people is dead. Now, you can either buy something or let me get back to work. Because I am not going to say one more word about this case. The law of silence you like a glove. We'll Nobody make it saw for anything. You. Nobody knows anything. Так, идем говорить в следующем. Он тут рядом. Madam, I am pleased to welcome you to the best wine and spirit shop in Tierfredi. If you're looking for something to accompany a fine meal or for a gift for someone, you've come to the right place. Thank you, but I'm not here for that. I am conducting an investigation. Some merchants are being extorted by members of the guard. Uh, are you sure? It's probably just a nasty rumor. Someone must have misinformed you. Come now. I am the legate of the congregation. If guards threaten you, I could arrange protection for you. Threats? No. I assure you. I was told a merchant had been found dead. Really? Oh, I didn't know. No one told me about that. What was his name? Come on, don't take me for a fool. You know very well who I'm talking about. I don't, really? I don't. So, what sort of wine would you like to pair your food with? You need something strong when eating game? You're obviously terrified. Don't you think it's better to tell me everything? Listen, I've no desire to get into trouble. Please leave me. But if you don't help me, you will never be rid of these guards. I told you, I don't know what you're talking about. Are your boots worn through? Is Excellency, welcome back to my modest shop. It is an immense honor for me to be of service to such noble clientele. What might I do for you? I am conducting an investigation. Apparently some merchants are being extorted by some members of the guard. Really? That's... that's terrible, Your Excellency. 
As Legate, it is my duty to ensure the safety and well-being of the citizens of our town. So please, if you have any information... I... I don't know anything. Really. I have only been here for a few months. My partner, who ran the shop before me, had a very bad encounter. And you fear the same thing happening to you? This is what happens around here. So I prefer to hold my tongue and do what is expected of me. If you denounce them, we could end this and charge these men for their crime. I can't take that risk. There are so many of them. Also, I would not be able to name them. Now, I would like to get back to my work. What we need is the money to return, do you understand? We are very... monitored. I have a plan to stop the culprits, but I'm going to need your help. The next time one of these guards comes to squeeze money out of you, you must ask for more time. The man will threaten you, of course, and he will certainly bring his accomplices. But when they come back in full force to make you pay for your audacity, we will be there to apprehend them. And if your plan fails, I'll end up like Renault. You don't understand. Are you not tired of giving them a share of your profits? And do you not want to avenge your partner? He was my friend. And his death really upset me. But I don't want to end up like him. Sorry, Your Excellency. These guards really managed to terrify you. I'll be back later, hoping you've changed your mind. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. Договориться с торговцем. Так он хочет сто золотых. Это дорог. I'm sorry, but I have not changed my mind. It's far too dangerous. And what if I gave you money to pay for it? If the plan fails, you only have to give them that money. They have no interest in getting rid of those who earned them so much. You are not wrong. Very well. I will do what you ask of me, but for God's sake, when they threaten me, intervene right away. Fear not. We will not let them harm you. When should they be returning? It's hard to predict. Given their habits, I would say... in two days, maybe? Perfect. I will not fail you. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. Вернуться через два дня. Так, тогда приступаем к следующей задании. Идите Константина во дворце.
Так, идем к Константину. Так, тут ящик. Тут еще один. дворец так верхний этаж давай глянем что у нас тут так ключи There you are, fair cousin. What is this? Who is this amazing person in your company? I am Siora, daughter of Vladnid, daughter of Meb. My mother is the Mal, the chief of our clan. I am honored to make your acquaintance, Siora. <gasps> this is incredible. You look so much alike, you could be related. If you would allow me, Princess, I would like to confer a mission to my cousin. You need to visit the governors of the bridge and Teleme to give them my formal regards, that sort of thing, but also to discover what they've managed to learn. They've been here much longer than we have. Perhaps they've made some inroads to finding a cure for the Malachor. Forgive me, Mal, but I have a request for you. My people needs your help. I thought we might discuss matters together at leisure, but please, speak your piece. The Lions, the Bridge Alliance and my people are at war. My mother has sent me to you in search of allies. I fear that without your help, our clan will suffer great horrors. We have already lost so many souls. Hmm. This seems a sensible request. You know, though, we cannot go to war with our neighbors. Perhaps there is a way to negotiate a ceasefire. The time to see things more clearly. Excellent idea. I would be completely lost without you. Go and parley with, um, the Queen, fair cousin. Try and put an end to confrontations for the time being. I will come with you. It will take more than one person to convince my mother to lay down our weapons. Perfect. Take Kurt along with you and anyone you feel useful. I've been told that the roads are not safe. Safe travels, fair cousin. And watch out for yourself. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. Так, теперь нас отправляет. Так, глянем на карту, куда. Так, идем туда. Sade, you have a m Thank you for coming. I know that you're very busy, but I need your help. I'm listening, sir. This island is vast, and we only know a tiny part of it. 
As you know, your uncle has asked me to draw maps to facilitate the merchant's travels. Alas, I'm slightly too old to be roaming the paths, setting up camps here and there. So I'd appreciate it if, as you travel, you mark the places you deem to be safe on your map. Very well. I will take care of it, Professor. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. Uh, one more thing. Do you remember that gigantic creature that you defeated in Serene? Uh, bringing a specimen to the city was obviously not a good idea. An accident was inevitable. But according to my sources, there are others of them on this island, and your uncle wishes to know more about them. I know that a scholar of the Alliance, Professor Serafedin, has also taken an interest in these creatures. I tried to contact him, but apparently he disappeared during an expedition to study them. Naturally, I cannot ask you to rummage through the entire island looking for him, but if you can find any trace of him, his studies on these giant creatures could be immensely useful. Very well. If I find anything out, I'll let you know. The road to knowledge is long and difficult, but this is the price of wisdom, Desade. Так, нам дали еще задание, еще дополнительное задание. Картография. Так, разбить лагерь. Это, так понимаю, костры нужно. Так, ясно тут. Так, выходим отсюда. Нам вот вон туда. Сейчас идем туда. Еще один ящик. Ну, вроде все. Так, путешествие. Получается, с другой стороны нужно. Нашли сундук. Но, в принципе, неплохо. Ладно, возвращаемся. Там кто у нас? 
Ну-ка, посмотрим. Лагерь торговца. Во время путешествия вы можете заходить в лагерь бродячих торговцев. Здесь можно покупать и продавать предметы, снаряжать спутников и перемещать предметы между сундуков в вашем снаряжении. В мастерской можно улучшать снаряжение и создавать зелье. Для перехода в другой регион. Так, посмотрим, что у торговца. Так, это кольцо. Сколько оно стоит? 300 золотых. Кольцо боевого монаха. Кенжал. Так, а продать что мы можем? Старая ржавая сабля. Так, сейчас продать. Так, это... Сейчас быстренько продадим то, что не нужно, и продолжим путь.
Так, нам туда идти. на каких-то бандитов но это по-видимому высокоуревные противники так что лучше отступить С этими можно поговорить. Так. Поставим пароли. Маны нет, и можно выкупать. Ну, справились. Так, берем лут. И продолжаем свой путь. Там еще кучка стоят. Но в принципе можем справиться с ними. Сейчас попробуем. доступно одно очко стоимость заклинаний 10 процентов
Так, куда нам идти? Вот туда. Так, тут еще одна стая. Вот и все. Руда, нашли руду. за священника а тут что так это письмо страница из дневника бродячего священника когда шел на восток от новой сирены слышал разговор путешественников о сокровище, которые они спрятали у одинокого дерева на утесе. Возможно, это были бандиты, а их сокровище нажито грабежом. Да, поможет мне прос просветленный. Так, это у нас чудище. Тише. Спокойно, спокойно. Это у них, наверное, альф. Звучит. Так, нужно зелье. Все, готов. Так, глянем у торговца, что у него есть. Так. 
это в принципе идти еще далеко восточная застава In the name of the Enlightened One, present yourself. Lady de Sade, emissary of the Congregation of Merchants on Tier D. I have come to present my regards to your governor. We have been expecting your visit, Your Excellency. Welcome. May he light your way. your gods answer me why why are you doing this behold your so-called gods you are demons they burn they are nothing You shed tears for this creature while your heart should be full of joy. Welcoming the light. <gasps> Forget your pagan foul teachings. Embrace the true faith. You are mad. <laughs> Renounce your gods! <laughs> Inquisitor?
You! Stop where you are. The pagan stink of these soulless natives taints you. You bring demon-spawned barbarians through our gates. <sighs> this man just killed some helpless soul in front of our eyes, and he calls us barbarians. Who are you to address me with such familiarity? I am the Inquisitor Aloysius, and you will be going nowhere lest your answers give me satisfaction. Do you believe that the God of Light is the one and only God? Don't tell me that you are going to humor this crazed assassin. If I want to complete my mission, I believe I have no other choice. Diplomacy may seem to you of little import, but I doubt that your governor will be of a similar opinion. Aggression towards an emissary of another nation is an error that could lead to war. You cannot hide from the divinity behind politics. But very well. I leave you in divine hands. This time. I shall allow you to continue along your path. I am certain ours will cross again. And be aware that wheresoever you wander, you shall be weighed, measured, and judged. I wish I'd been given an excuse to put this madman to the sword, but you did well. Congratulations. Young lady, pardon me, are you not part of the new governor's entourage? I'm his cousin, and I'm accompanying him on his mission to Tirfredi. What can I do for you, father? Bishop Petrus, how divinely fortunate this is. Did you know that I had the honor of meeting you at your uncle's court when you were a child? I would never have imagined that you would grow up to resemble the island natives so closely. The island was yet to be discovered. How could you have known? <laughs> you haven't lost your clever little tongue. You were always quite a remarkable young girl. I'm on my way to New Serene as an ambassador to the new governor. Do you think there would be room for me to accompany you? The roads are not truly safe. I must first meet the Mother Cardinal to present my respects on behalf of my cousin. I will accompany you. And then we can take the road together. I'm so happy our paths have crossed once again. Your Eminence, in the name of the Congregation of Merchants, I present my best regards. May the light bless you and accompany you on these grounds with inspired guidance. I thank you. We truly wish that this visit will strengthen the ties between our two nations. I learned that you crossed paths with that of Inquisitor Aloysius. I beseech you to forgive his zealous nature. His faith is absolute. And I congratulate you to have appeased him. Your faith and your diplomatic skills honor you. Another subject brings me as well. The Malachor. The horrible blood plague decimating our peoples. A terrible matter that worries us all and reveals our imperfections and sinful nature. For he would never have allowed such an evil to spread without a deeper reason, a fault. Our theologians are certain 
that the Malachor is the work of a curse. And we have discovered that this island is home to a cult that venerates willfully a horrifying demon. A demon? An evil spirit? It's very strange. Oh, I know no planet worships this sort of troubled spirit. We must unearth this cult and tear it out by its sinister, sinful roots. We started to investigate a village not far from here, where strange happenings have been reported. I have begun investigations, and I confirm that a demon is certainly active in the area. Alas, the population is very secretive, and we have great difficulty gleaning any useful information. But if the congregation would help us in this matter, in other words, if the Malachor troubles your cousin as much as myself, report to his majesty that the destruction of this pagan cult is the only way to eradicate the plague, and his help in obtaining any information from the natives would be extremely welcomed. Be certain that your message will be transmitted, Mother Cardinal. I look forward to our next encounter. Так, возвращаемся назад. Так, где же тут телепорт у нас? Давайте прогуляемся, может найдем. у нас тут так не 
вижу его нигде. Это телепорт. Короче, нужно идти пешком. Ставим метку. А вон он. Он то. Ну что, опять бандит. Получайте бандит. Один готов. И последний. Собираем весь лут и продолжаем свой путь. Вот и караванщик. Greetings! Do you want to travel without tiring yourself out? My caravan goes through all the cities. So, where should I drop you? To New Serene. Let's go! Так, еще 15 часов, чтобы выполнить ту заданию. Так, нам туда.
Things are about to get dicey. With no magic. Drink a potion. Ugh. to get dicey. There's no magic left. Drink a potion. Greenblood, there's something I would like to talk to you about. I'm listening. I recruited a young man for the guard a few months ago. Talented. Very talented. And honorable. I've been tracking his progress, and I learned that he's been sent to the barracks in New Serene. I would like you to meet him so that you can give me your opinion. My opinion? On what? Ever since our departure from Serene, I've spent nearly every second at your side. But I have clear standing orders to assure the protection of Constantine. And I don't know his guards. Not well in any case. I see. You've been thinking this recruit might be a suitable personal guard. Precisely. And your opinion has weight. So then, would you like to accompany me to meet him? But of course. Let's go. out of energy drink a potion move away things are about to get dicey ah! 